Sheriff Rob Mayshall standing by on the line right now. Good morning, Sheriff. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. I um I my my reference to grumpier old men um was in reference to this alleged thievery of the of the bull named what Lucky Lucky. Uh, that's what I'm being told that he was named Lucky. Yeah. Sure. What uh, I mean, it it seemed like you got a group of older gentlemen uh, who were told you guys can have it, and they went and they and they they tried to load it up and take it, and turns out the new owner objected. What what do we know about this story out in uh, in Vernon? Well, to, to quickly summarize, you pretty much got it there. So I, I, I mean, a couple of the headlines that I saw were a little deceiving because the, the gentlemen were not charged with attempting to steal the bull. Okay. Um, they were charged with trespassing. So we've got the previous owner who, um, according to these gentlemen, and we're still working on that, still an open investigation. Yeah. But according to these gentlemen, the previous owner, or uh, the owner as they assume, gave them permission to take it. And I don't know what kind of deal they worked out. So they arrive on team thinking they had permission to take it. Um, uh, as they're loading it, the new owner shows up. Um, I'm the owner of the property. I've been the owner of the property for quite some time. You know, according to the gentleman, um, and didn't want them to take it. Obviously, uh, and a, a dispute ensued. We were called. Um, the property is clearly marked: no trespassing. Uh, there, there are clear signs. There's, there's signage uh, wording around the bull that trespassing is, is uh, prohibited. Yep. Um, and basically, um, that's why we charge them with a trespass. Okay. It's clear that they cannot be there. No one can be there other than the landowner. And like I said, our investigation is still open. I'm still trying to work on, uh, because obviously there's got to be some intent, and we're still you know, determining sure. if there was intent to steal this thing or did they rightfully believe that you know, they were right, entitled to, uh, right. to take it. So a couple, like I said, a couple headlines, you know, they're charged with stealing the bull. That is incorrect. They were not okay. charged with stealing the bull. They're being charged with trespassing for being on property. It's clearly marked. So that no that no trespassing sign is uh, those are valuable signs. You place those on your property, and people must obey. Absolutely. Uh, two 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 things. Uh, obviously, if property is clearly marked no trespassing, then then obviously people can't be there. Or if if you if someone's on your property and you tell them to leave and they refuse to leave, then okay. again you have the trespassing. Okay. So, All right. Um, but it's it's definitely an interesting story. I mean, I received calls from media across the country. It's kind of hit national attention. Just yeah, like yeah. I'm assuming to the you know because of the uniqueness. Yeah. And because the bull was cut away from its anchoring system, um, that's why the bull is not there currently. The the what we believe is that the current owner um, has the the, uh, the bull secured. So that, okay, wow, um, Sh- yeah. sheriff. Not specific to this case, but in yeah. general, when you talk about trespassing, I, I know you said intent matters. So if Andrew tells me he owns a property and says, "Go get this," am I trespassing if I believe I'm on the owner's property with his permission? Well, if you truly believe that, no. But if the property's marked, so that's the difference right, here. Right. And when I was okay. talking about intent, I was talking. I was referring to intent to steal something. Okay. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that you know, uh, right. they're determined. Did they have the intent to to go there and wrong or unlawfully take something yeah. that didn't belong to them? Right. That's, right. that's, that's the and definition. Yeah, of I wonder. I wonder if this would play a role. Um, what time of day were they attempting to remove? This was uh, uh, mid morning. I think it was about ten thirty. Yeah. Started. Yeah. So if so you're it's... about to do something nefarious, um, and and chances are you wouldn't do it in mid morning. Chances are it would be like, okay, boys, it's midnight. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Game on. I thought that too. Yeah. It, it, well, you could look at that two ways because I, I was you know quizzed by a few people. Um, certainly, if you're doing it in broad daylight and you weren't supposed to. People probably aren't going to question you because right. wow, they wouldn't be stealing this if they died. Or I don't know if anyone would be dumb enough to try to steal something of that magnitude in the middle of the night. Right, <laughs> in right. In the middle of the night, either. So you could look at that either way. Well, it's very interesting because uh, that's a very good point. I mean, think of I, I was reading somewhere there was a uh, there was a robbery. And mm-hmm. it was a uh, rent to own truck. We'll bring it up. <laughs> but it looked, but for neighbors, it looked sure. like they were delivering new furniture to the house. Sure. When I in mean, reality, cases, they they were pulling yeah. stuff out of the house. There's been cases where people have, you know, I, I've seen all kinds of, of stories where, you know, there's one that, that, that stands out where someone was actually cutting access into a building through the roof. Hmm. During the day, okay, I'm driving right. by. And there's a truck there, and there's ladders on the roof, and there's guys cutting a hole. I mean, okay, looks I mean, like it's construction. Sure, exactly. Yeah, 
Um, but again, it's a very unique story. And uh, well, like I said, uh, the the one thing that lacked from our press release is that the investigation is continuing because obviously we're we're working on uh, you know was it in fact a larceny or or is this going to end up being a civil matter? But at the end of the day, either way, we clearly have a trespass because the property was clearly marked no trespassing and there were people there trespassing. I, I want to know, uh, Andrew, the ages of these these gentlemen who so, have been charged with trespassing. Yes, I've got it right here. Uh, they range, uh, I think, from 30s up to 70s. Yeah. So, yeah, <clears throat> three, uh, two of them, one, or, or we're in their 70s. We have someone 71, 77, 67, 43, and 33. To me, i got to yeah. tell you, uh, yeah. Sheriff, this just proves uh, that stop with this grumpy or old men thing. Uh, <laughs> at age 70, you've still got a lot of life ahead of you, and oh, you're yeah. you're able to get right out there because this is not a light bull, right? Oh, uh, no, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a it's quite a. Cre- and it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's big. And to yeah. see it going down the road on a trailer was kind of unique, too. You know? <clears throat> and is there an estimated value? I'm getting a criticism right now. Michael says we're milking this story. Mike, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. You don't, milk, you don't milk, you can't milk a bull. Thank you, Chief. Right, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're beefing it up a little. We're beefing it up a little. <laughs> there you go. Okay. There we go. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Sheriff's, he, he would know. He's got a... This is a giant bull that uh, was almost. Uh, you just had a baby bull. Right? You just had a baby calf. Yeah, yeah we had a couple. Uh, well, we've had two so far. I got six more to go, so I'm going to try to get Andrew here at the right time. But he couldn't drive fast enough to get here. So, so he's yeah. tell- the sheriff is telling me he's like, you can go fast through Barneville. It's fine. <laughs> as <laughs> what as are you as saying no, no. on the air? As, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. As his deputy is <laughs> pulling somebody over, I couldn't. I sheriff, like, no. he's now uninvited. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I'm funny. kidding. He never said all that. All right. Thing. Well, listen, this is, uh, again, I, I'm not surprised you're getting calls from all over the country on this story because it is uh, it is it's, one. It's very unique. Yeah, yeah no doubt about yeah. it. All right, Sheriff. Good stuff. Good. And, again, we'll, uh, we can't will we wait to see the uh, the offspring uh, coming off your farm. This is really there cool. There you go. So, Sounds all right. good. Thank you. Thanks Have so much. Day. All right. All right.